this Josiah and this Jaden and this Isaiah, Kiku and Isaiah. I you know you're about to have a little sister. What's her name? <laughs> Leonie. Leonie? You got you gonna have a sister. It's a big responsibility. What what's the first thing you gonna teach her? Um um, I don't know yet. Mom, she was having a baby. Her name is Bayani, and she she she's having a baby shower today. And the colors are pink, aqua, and white. And so my mother is very happy that she's having a girl. Baby. Is it <laughs> your first sister? How you feel? Ready to beat? Ready to beat people up for? <laughs> want you to make the right decisions in life and uh, keep God first. Uh, you want to be a beautiful woman, smart and intelligent, and uh, that's basically it. I can't wait till you get That first her name was going to be Caitlin Leanne, and then uh, I wanted to name her Leilani, but it was very tongue-tying to me. So then I came up with Leilani, and then I was just trying to figure out how to spell the name, so I came up with Leilani and then the rose. It just all goes together, Leilani Rose. So that is her name, and that is the birth of her name. My mom, she said Leilani, it was gonna be Leilani, but my mom, she, she kept mispronouncing it. Yeah. So she kept saying Leilani, and she just went to, went to that. How you felt when JoJo was first born? Not What's up? Huh? This one was yeah, yeah, yeah. by surprise. This one was definitely by surprise. Definitely. Bob, what you think is gonna be the difference between raising the boys and, and your newfound girl? I think uh, my husband become more sensitive, more sensitive, much more sensitive. So um, that's a good thing. And it'll be two women in the house instead of just me. <laughs> Save your daddy says yo. Here's your little sister, teach her something. What you gonna teach her? How to walk or something. How to walk? Mm -hmm. And if you had to give her advice about growing up, what you would tell her? Um, um, you could just stay out of trouble and don't get into fights when you get in school. Like what you wanna teach her first? Uh, how to, I would I wanna teach her how to drink her bottle and stuff, hold her, her bottle and stuff like that. And I would, teach, I would teach her how to um, walk and stuff. Well, that's how my mom would do. She would teach them. She would teach them how to walk. What's your first lesson you gonna teach her? How to carry yourself. Like, you right there. Like, oh, um, mommy wants you. How to carry yourself like the right way. Mommy wants you. You gonna be an older brother? You know that, right? You think that's a big responsibility? No, get that thing out of the way. Get that thing. The little thing. Put on the table so he can't see that. What do you think is like one of the first things that you're excited to teach her? Being, because you know, because I know you got your. I would say cook. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, I really don't know about that. I, I have to take it. I have to take it day by day. She's going to be really protected when she have her brothers. She's going to be protected. She ain't, she's not going to worry about anything. She's not going to worry about. But as long as the people that she know, like the friends she know with, the boys she know with, and they know that she has a lot of brothers, they gonna know her, they gonna respect her, and know not to treat her wrong and not like that. Her friends that she hang out with. With your experiences of having three little brothers, how you think it's gonna be different if it's a little sister? You gonna treat her the same? Huh? You gonna treat your little sister the same as you treat your little brothers? No, but different, but like. The same but different. Sweeter. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna teach her. I'm gonna um, treat her nice and stuff like that. And I was I was happy when my mom when my mom said that we were having a um, sister. Right here, what you gonna say to her? Um, I would say that she should have a sister. She should have a sister. She should have a sister. You gonna play with her? You gonna take care of her, make sure that she's safe? What? Beat up anybody for her? Always kisses Leani, my belly. And he knows her name. Jojo, what's the baby name? What's her name? Leani. How did they initially react when you 
and he was like, I'm having a girl. Cause you know, all the boys was like, they probably like, yeah, we're a boy. And scream through the phone. I had to literally like, put the, the phone away from my ear. He was very excited, excited. Since like, this time when, was, when my mom was pregnant, he said, before my mom knew that it was a girl, he said seven is a lucky number and they came out and they, they found out it was a girl, so my dad was happy about that. I don't know so happy that I'm having a girl, my baby sister, she, my mom is happy too. She, she's having an exciting time at the um, home. How do you think your father feel about it right now? Well, he's, he, he was happy. The difference is that I got to be, I got to be more protective of her because you're a female, she's a female. And I got to look at certain things and experiences from another angle because I got boys and I got to transform my mind to help her understand what's going on. I'm also, her mother will help her, but me being a father, the number one thing I'm worrying about, listen, you ain't having no damn boy class. To That's what I'm talking about. Like, That's this is a different. It. It's a different vibe because it's like I don't. I'm your dad. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, and you have to listen to me. And when you listen to me, everything will come together because I'm the father of you. And um, you know, just basically dress code, teach her how to dress. Even though you may go straight, as long as you have a foundation. You know what I'm saying? As long as she, as long as she has a foundation of what's right and what's wrong. Everybody does wrong, you know, you, you might have a boyfriend this and that, but you want to at least know, you know, what is right and what's wrong based on the teaching you're getting out of your household. So the difference between having a boy and a girl is that having boys, I was a boy, so I know how to train. But having a girl, it's just like rolling with, we want to grow together and experience things together. So I can't depict, yeah. or even, you know what I'm saying? I can't depict what trials and tribulations will come. But I just got to, you know, but it is a bit different. I didn't, I didn't, it was, it was a blessing from God. It's not like I was like, yo, you don't have a daughter, because you don't never know what you're going to have. Yeah. But I would say that this is from God, because even though I know I did the action, yeah, yeah. It's the gender selection, it's from the Lord. I'm very excited to meet you, anticipating in your arrival. And I look forward to many, many, many more blessed years with you tomorrow and just building as a family. You're my little spoiled diva. Mom. Oh.